The first VCR in Kitsetsko Hi-Fi is a double pack or double feature of documentaries put out by ETR Media that's a partner label to Vinegar Syndrome. These are documentaries that I knew nothing about but a buddy of mine was selling their copy and I decided to get it despite him and his wife telling me that they're boring and well, yep, yep, they were right. You guys were right. Both films were written and directed by Dwayne Buckle and is narrated by Miles Wright. Both are about 42 minutes each and both are incredibly boring. The first film, I guess it's probably doesn't really matter what you kind of start with but i started with the first vcr this is a short documentary diving into the invention of the vcr or video cassette recorder which helped launch the home video revolution and how this piece of technology has influenced the modern world of today do you remember being back in school when they would like wheel in that old tube tv cart with a vhs player and you're like oh shit it's bill nye the science guy time boo 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 yeah this isn't that but then instead they just show you a boring slow drip documentary about something super not interesting and you felt immediately disappointed followed by what felt like an eternity of slow death yeah this is one of those it's basically like a safety video without the goofy acting it's very monotone in its delivery which makes the film drag beyond belief there's no natural rhythm or cadence to how the information is presented it's a very sterile documentary here only to present information that also feels stretched beyond belief it's like watching a term paper in high school where you need to like fill in the information so you use slightly adjacent information to get that word count up. That's what this feels like. That's what it feels like is going on here. The Internet Raider does do a decent enough job in both documentaries, but again, it's very procedural in its delivery. Weirdly enough though, I honestly didn't really retain any information either. Like it's been one day since I've watched this going into writing this and I couldn't tell you what was presented in the documentary, which I think says a lot. There's also a moment in the film where they play some really misfitting background music like like for some reason it plays some really suspenseful music which the tone never changed in the documentaries i don't know why this was here it's almost like they didn't even listen to the song and just added it to the timeline which is kind of funny but yeah the first vcr gets a three out of ten Cassettes Go Hi-Fi is the companion piece of the first VCR, which might be worth noting. They're both released in 2019. However, I found this one to be even more boring, felt like it repeated more to get that word count up, and even had worse pacing. There's multiple points where it kind of just feels like we're about to hit the conclusion, and then it just starts back up again. It's almost like it was like, oh shoot, once we edited this down, it wasn't long enough. Here, add this. It's really strange. It makes the runtime feel super long. I have the same issues as I did with the first VCR here. I feel like cassettes presented even less information than VCR did, with a lot leaning into speculative resurgence of cassettes. It almost tries to come off like the artists are returning to cassettes because of the quality, but let's be real, they're only returning because of nostalgia. Look, I grew up with cassettes, I love cassettes too, but the quality isn't as good as vinyl or even CD, they're a pain in the ass to use. Like let's be honest, like you try to hunt and peck for a song, it was a pain in the ass to try to find track 5 on a cassette tape. Sure, when a band I like puts out new material on cassette tape, it's a cool little collector's item, but it's probably going to stay wrapped up because I'm buying it as a collector's piece. If I wanted to collect the music and listen to it, I'm probably going vinyl all day. Cassettes doesn't have the same aesthetic that VHS tapes do. They don't really color the tone that much like a VHS tape colors the footage. There's a certain difference in quality that VHS adds to kind of give it that nice little spice of life that uh, cassettes don't really do. Similar enough though, doesn't really make them worth the effort to use them. Outside of that, this documentary is here to present information about cassettes. And while it does talk about the origins, I feel like most of the runtime is padded with filler. I don't have much to say about this one because pretty much all the negatives of VCR apply here. Let me get that word count up, boys. Both of the documentaries, in my opinion, aren't worth watching. And if you want to know the hard facts presented here, then just do a quick wiki read while on the toilet. You can find a much more condensed piece probably on YouTube with probably more engaging energy. And I'm giving this one a 2 out of 10. Couldn't recommend either of these. Bye.